Hi, this is Farhan and welcome back to another video. If you're an XRP investor and have invested in XRP, especially this year, well, it really depends at what time did you buy XRP. And that is going to define whether you're going to be happy or not. Because if you bought it at the start of this year, the price of XRP is doing very good. But if you bought it a couple of months back, well, you are down quite considerably. But it seems that the selling pressure is exhausted related to the selling of xrp especially from these massive whales who have very large amounts of xrp and according to the new data that we have got it seems that the whale driven selling pressure of xrp has been exhausted and in today's video we will be talking about this and not only that we will also be talking about something that is very very important regarding this ripple lawsuit and that is those internal documents this internal communication in the sec regarding classifications of a Bitcoin, Ether, and XRP, and how they were classified as security or not security, and also related to their trading policy. This is something which I'm pretty sure everybody in the Ripple and XRP community want to know. So all of these things in today's video. But before that, there's a new section called one minute from the world of crypto one minute from the world of crypto is a new section in which i summarize the biggest news of the day from the world of crypto so let's get the timer going and let's start well you guys know that one of the biggest banks in the world goldman sachs they have started trading bitcoin and yes this is the same bank which for a very long time was spreading a lot of fud related to the world of cryptocurrencies and today they are announced that they are going to begin a trading bitcoin which is absolutely huge news and next we have pearl a completely new cryptocurrency that has absolutely skyrocketed in the last couple of weeks increasing by more than 100 percent when the entire world of crypto was doing pretty bad and they focus mostly on the green aspect of the world of cryptocurrency and especially from what we're hearing elon musk has been tweeting about hey we need the crypto world of crypto to be very energy efficient and pearl seems to be doing that trick that is why the price of pearl has ex absolutely increased quite a lot and next we have the hype regarding nfts and for a lot of people especially coming from the world of a known cryptocurrency a lot of people are saying that hey they do not really see the value in the world of nft so do you guys agree with that if you do do drop a comment below and that was 60 seconds now let's talk about this exhaustion of well driven selling pressure on xrp if you guys know a thing or two about the world of cryptocurrencies these are dominated by wills individuals who hold a very large accounts of a specific cryptocurrency and in the case of xrp it is people and individuals uh, having more than 1 million XRP so that is pretty big and from the results we are getting from uh, sentiment it seems that the selling pressure driven by these whales and these whales had been accumulating XRP for quite some time and once the price did rise quite significantly up to 1.96 dollars it is a 52 week high we saw a, quite a lot of selling pressure from these whales and the recent data is suggesting that this is has been exhausted it puts it on a 30-day uh, smoothed basis, the sentiment world transaction count just tested the early March lows, suggesting that the whale driven selling pressure has been exhausted. If that is the case, XRP price downside should be limited to $0.76 or at most $0.72. In fact, the reason why we are even talking about these uh, low prices is because there has been a lot of fudge regarding XRP and they're, and they're saying that, hey, XRP is, there is still xrp is much uh, bound to go a1 lower but from the new data that we are getting it seems that that is going to be unlikely but having said this you should not count everything out because this is the world of crypto which things can be very volatile and again pretty much the thing that is dominating the price of xrp at this time is obviously the overall sentiment of the world of cryptocurrency but pretty most importantly and that is this sse lawsuit and if you guys have been following me and you should you should click the subscribe button well the sec has got its extension of 60 days and that has put a lot of people kind of off from xrp saying that hey we are not going to see any major momentum until the end of this year related to xrp but again as i've said in a lot of my videos that there might be a possibility that we can see a settlement with the sec related to this ripple lawsuit moving on we have the very important documents that ripple really needs from the sec and in fact this has been directly coming from the judge and the judge has ordered the sec to produce these documents to ripple but unfortunately the sec is delaying as much as possible so there are three very important things which ripple actually wants so the first one is that finhub emails and that is related to pretty much any questions uh, pertaining to bitcoin xrp and Eth ethereum and these are something that uh, ripple wants to use for its upcoming defense especially for notice defense and regarding what the sec 
actually thought about XRP at that point. And then after that, we have the Office of Investor Education and Advocacy documents. These are also very important documents that are going to be needed by Ripple related to the trading policies and whatnot coming from uh, the SEC. And the next, we have the internal documents from the SEC. And these are going to be pretty much the most important thing that Ripple really wants. And these are especially, again, related to what uh, SEC actually thought about XRP at the previous points. And the internal documents is to be completed by July 2nd and the OIEA documents by June 18th and the FinHub emails by July 2nd. So in the next coming I mean, weeks, uh, Ripple is going to get these access to these uh, very important documents from the SEC. And I hope the SEC actually sends them because the judge has already ordered to do that. And once we get that, I think we will definitely get to know a lot of more clear information regarding the classifications of XRP. So make sure you're tuned for that. Next, we have some really good news and that is SwissBorg. They have announced that they are going to be adding XRP onto their pl platform and giving hundreds of thousands of investors access to invest in XRP, which is absolutely great news, considering that a lot of crypto exchanges, especially in the United States, they have delisted XRP from their platform after this SEC lawsuit was announced. But seeing that there are crypto exchanges, there are new financial services uh, accepting XRP and adding or at least relisting XRP on their platform, that would be pretty good. But having said this, and although this is really good, we still need those big exchanges to relist XRP onto their platform. And I'm here, I'm talking about uh, Coinbase and Binance, especially for US customers. So that again is a very, very important. But again, this is a small step towards the right direction. Next, we have an update regarding the Spark token airdrop coming directly from the Flare uh, CEO and this is related to how much exactly Spark token that you're going to be getting. In yesterday's video, I said that uh, Flair has announced that they're trying to change the distribution methodology on how they're going to be distributing Spark. But today, the CEO went himself on Twitter and said that I made a mistake involving uh, invoking governance over the distribution. I'm canceling the proposals. The distribution will remain 15% and then 3% per month. If tax creates uh, sell pressure, then a governance proposal can be submitted by the community to control the distribution. So in my opinion, I'm pretty actually happy with this because previously we had uh, uh, I think a lot of confusion for especially those uh, uh, people who had XRP who are not from the United States. And this was related to the tax problem, especially for US customers and the majority of the world. Well, they weren't really going to be affected that much, but considering that they are still going to remain with that initially when the uh, when the Spark token is airdropped, which will happen in the next couple of weeks, and I will definitely be making a video on that, you will get 15% uh, on the on the first day when the network is launched and 3% per month after that. So definitely good news in my opinion and it is going to be a good, a very good passive income for a lot of a lot of XRP investors out there. Well guys, that was the video for today. Let me know what are your thoughts in the comment section below and also do let me know what are your thoughts on the news, news, news section called One Minute from the World of Crypto in which I summarize the top news from the world of crypto in 60 seconds. If you guys like this, do drop a like and also do let me know in the comment section below so I can I can continue to do this. I will highly appreciate your feedback. Well guys, thank you for watching this video and as always, I will see you next time.